Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, in today's video, as you can see, I have got a green screen, which is pretty cool. Um, and I was so excited, I had to set it up immediately um, and actually do some recording with it. So, um, what I've done is just picked out a few sales. I haven't, like, uh, what I would normally do with a sales update is really go through... Uh, you know, and pick out good ones, pick out, you know, not so good ones, and, you know, spend a little time, a little bit of time picking them out, but today, obviously, I was so excited to, you know, bring you a video with the green screen, I thought I'd just quickly pick some out, and we'll just do uh, a smaller sales update than normal, so, yeah, if you like the addition of the green screen, then please throw a comment down below, um, it was actually easier than I thought to set up, um, I thought I would be struggling for hours with it, um, but as long as you've got good lighting, I've got my two lights uh, that I use photography either side of me right now. As long as you've got good lighting, it seems to be fairly easy. Um, but yeah, so please tell me if it's all right, if the green screen's working cool. Uh, might be a bit of lagging or something, I'm not sure, might not be. But uh, yeah, if everything's all right, please do let me let, let me know down below. And obviously your opinion on uh, the green screen as well. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so without further ado, we shall get straight on with the update. So there's this uh, vintage fieldings. Cr oh no, I've uh, misspelled that. That should say Crown Devon, not Cown Devon. Um, but yeah, Crown Devon uh, ceramic can painted, and this is musical. This is a musical tankard or uh, beer stand or whatever you want to call it, a mug. Um, now it does stand a little lopsided because of the actual um, oh, what do you call that sort of the turner. That you wind the wind wind up mechanism um, that you actually use to wind it up and for it to play music. So it does actually stand a little bit lopsided. I don't know whether I've captured that that well on the photograph, but um, yeah. So I I don't know. I mean, it's a bit weird because why would we make them like that? It is it just seems a little bit odd, but that's how it is anyway because of that little mechanism there. Um, it makes it stand a bit odd. So yeah. Anyway, so there's that one. I didn't actually take 24.99 I accepted a best off of £17.50 which I was more than not happy to accept because you know I'm just getting this stuff out it's cost me maybe a couple of quid in a job lot so quite happy with that one next is something that I've had hanging around for a while uh, these are vintage action man uh, grenades actually 25 of them um, for £10 I accepted an offer again on this so uh, a £10 offer I accepted and um, yeah, quite happy to get them out. They owe me nothing, so you know it's just a tenner after postage and fees. Uh, it's just extra towards that sort of monthly profit. So quite happy with that. I got these in an auction job like a while back with loads of different action man uh, costumes, clothing, that sort of stuff. Uh, next is this art house uh, vintage wallpaper. I've had these for ages. I got about, I think I got about. 12 of these or something from a charity shop and I think I paid about either 50p or a pound each it wasn't any more than a pound each um, so obviously four rolls there 24 quid plus post I'm glad that one of them's gone to be honest one of the job lots um, would I pick them up again only if they were mega cheap at a car boot like 20p a roll or something because they're just so slow um, I know that other wallpaper isn't as slow um, but this one just seemed to be a bit slow, so um, I don't know, maybe it's my pricing, maybe I could have come down a little bit and uh, would have got the sale faster, but yeah, or maybe it's the fact that it's in a job lot of four, I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, certainly, you know, low Ashley stuff seems to go really quick, but this stuff for me did hang around a little bit, so that's that one. Uh, Blomfield, I don't know whether that's meant to be Bloomfield, oh no, Blomfield, yeah, well, Bloomfield, Blomfield, I don't know. Um, a st old established manufacturer, East Durham, I think that is. Um, this is just a little embossed cod neck bottle. Uh, quite nice, but you know nothing really, really special. Uh, Nine forty-five plus two ninety-nine postage. That's my standard sort of price for these kind of uh, just clear bottles, clear ga glass uh, vintage bottles. About ten or something like that. Some of them, obviously, you know, more desirable. You might get 20 or 30 quid or something like that. But a lot of them are just this standard uh, bread and butter range, really, of about a tenner plus the post. Next was a willow tree figure, something I've never sold, but I was quite happy when I saw it in one of the big job lots I got from an auction house. 
I accepted an offer of 12 quid on this quite soon after I uh, listed it. Well, I say quite soon, I mean, it was a few days after, but, um, you know, I, I saw activity on the listing quite um, quite soon after I had listed it, so that's quite nice. Um, and obviously, I was quite happy to get it out for 12 quid. Will have cost me about 50p in one of the big boxes of stuff, so I'm just quite happy to get this stuff out, really. Nice little figure. Uh, this one was called Healing Grace 2007 there, so I know that these were quite popular for a time. Don't know whether they've quite, kind of died off in popularity now, but evidently they still sell, so that's pretty cool. Next was something I got from a Lego job lot off uh, the lady who was in contact with me, and she's uh, sold me a few job lots of Lego now. Um, so this is just going towards paying for the job lot, really, and uh, yeah, sold this for 20 quid. It kind of hung, hung around for a little bit, but I wouldn't say it was like a major, major slow sale or anything. Um, but yeah, quite happy to get 20 quid for a, for a, yeah, can't even speak, for a Chima set. Because Chima, um, you know, when it was discontinued, it, you know, well, it was discontinued because, you know, it wasn't really everyone's taste, you know. A lot of the LEGO community weren't that bothered about Chima. Um, it was kind of more of a joke than anything, you know, compared to other more successful lines like, I don't know, uh, Jurassic World, Scooby-Doo always come to mind, you know, more licensed themes like Star Wars, things like that. Lego Chima just wasn't as desirable by collectors. I mean, of course there were collectors who did collect it or remain to still collect it, but it's not as popular as others. So, yes, quite happy that I actually got 20 quid for that. Um, next was this vintage brass candelabra. Uh, this was like a five-pronged one. Uh, 29.99 plus postage, had it quite a while, but I was quite happy to sit on it and uh, obviously get that good amount for it, so um, yeah, quite happy with that, nice sale, I can't remember what I paid for it, it will have come in a brass and copper job lot, so probably only owes me a couple of quid, three or four quid at best, um, so yeah, quite happy with that really, so that's that one, uh, and then finally is this uh, group of wooden ethnic uh, carved figures, I'm assuming African, they look African, sort of tourist pieces they call them, um, and yeah, these aren't very tall, I don't think, I'll just check on here, yeah, they're not really, really tall, I think the tallest one looks about 25, 26 centimetres there, um, yeah, I got a large job lot of uh, African figures for 40 40 pound, 45 pound plus commission, well actually there were two job lots, I got one for 20 and one for 25, or one for twenty and one for twenty. I'm not too sure, but it was it worked out about forty or forty five pound before commission, um, and then obviously commission on top. But there was loads of figures, and I'm into profit on these now. Uh, these were just the kind of remains that I just job lotted up, and as you can see, got twenty quid plus post. So I was quite happy with that, to be honest. You know. I'm not messing about anymore with these, I want to get them out, um, you know, if I wanted more money for them, I would do them individually, but I've done so many of these, sold so many of these individually, that I'm quite happy just to job lock the remains up now, really, so, yeah, that's that one, so, I'll leave it there, guys, thank you for watching, I know it wasn't um, a completely in-depth sales update, but I'm just trying to do a first video with this green screen, because I say I was so excited, so I just wanted to get some footage uh, filmed, really, and show you guys what it's like. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. So, see you very soon, guys.